Hey guys, it's Anna. I am looking at uh, one of the most common wood decomposing mushrooms that people collect. This is Trimedes versicolor, also known as the turkey tail mushroom. And uh, they are a wood decomposer. You will find them on logs and stumps absolutely everywhere. Uh, these are in really good condition. I'll show you the identification features. There are a couple of look-alikes, including the parchment fungus, Sturium austria, also the uh, guild polypore, uh, and that, that's kind of a contradiction in terms, which is why I had a hard time spitting it out, uh, but that is Trimedes betulina. At any rate, uh, those are kind of the two main things that sometimes people think is turkey tail, but uh, as you can see, this mushroom is, um, you know, a uh, polypore, so underneath the uh, surface it is a, uh, a very p fine porous layer, so that's where the spores come from. Uh, additionally, it is kind of flexible and a, a, just the slightest bit rubbery, or at least, uh, you know, uh, very flexible. These are fresh, so sometimes they will become more brittle over time. Um, the porous surface is white. This is a distinguishing feature that will keep you from uh, picking up a parchment fungus or uh, picking up um, Trimedes betulina because betulina has uh, gills, which is weird looking. And then uh, the <clears throat> sterium, so the parchment fungi, uh, have sort of a uh, brownish and sometimes um, orange uh, undersurface. So you have white porous undersurface. And then the reason it gets its common name, turkey tail, is because it has these concentric growth zones on top. They're a little bit on the furry side, so it's kind of felty on top. And, uh, you know, those uh, zones can range from almost a bluish color uh, very frequently in this uh, brown and green range. And, uh, you know, especially you'll see sort of a couple of layers right around the edge that are bunched up tight next to each other and then sort of this white uh, edge and rim. So as far as using turkey tails, a lot of people, um, you know, prepare them as medicinal tea. There's a lot of really interesting research about um, Termites versicolor as a uh, immune modulator and it has a lot of potential in, as an adjunct therapy to uh, radiation treatment, etc. So that uh, definitely has encouraged people to, um, you know, use them. They are, uh, you know, historically used in uh, Chinese and Japanese medicine. At any rate, uh, so, you know, a lot of um, herbal tea, or, uh, you know, uh, medicinal tea preparations are used, uh, are made using turkey tail. Uh, people also make tinctures out of them. So basically you just stick the fruiting body inside uh, some high proof alcohol and let uh, the, um, an, an extraction process occur over the course of six weeks or so. Um, you know, in general, this is uh, like a mushroom that uh, you can find almost any time of year. And so if you are interested in experimenting with uh, your own immune modulation using something that has uh, got a long history of uh, being safe and beneficial, turkey tail is a good place to start.